All right, welcome to the game, Man Game 5. His first map called Vertigo. Let's see what happens. I'll try it on ultraviolence. Oh, the run is off. Um, okay. Map is, uh, it's called Vertigo 9661, no secrets. Man Game 5 said the map is pretty ugly. I can kind of see why he said that. Uh, a lot of this green texture all the way up, all the way around. But I do like the details in here. We've got a couple of different rock textures. We got this white rock and this gray rock. And we got this little stream with some rock peeking out. Those are nice fine touches. The ugliness is more like the green all the way around and then these stairs are kind of <laughs> weird. Okay, got a door over here. No door. Switch, switch probably opens the door, huh? Alright. Whoa. Guess the switch does not open the door. I mean, a lot of odd alignments. Um, you don't really have a... Well, you have a decent transition just with the black here, but... Actually, that's not too bad. Here it's worse because of the angle. Here we've gotten, you know, we've got an acute angle. Uh, we've got an obtuse angle here, which in that case I think works better than this acute angle. I think right angles and acute angles are uh, better used for natural against natural rather than natural against man-made. For natural against man-made I think you want obtuse angles or right angles. 90 plus. More things opening. I saw an armor up there. Something opened. Oh, maybe that opened. Something else opened. Okay, so yeah, this map's called Vertigo. We've got a lot of vertical ascending here, that's for sure. Um, yeah, kind of interesting. The combat, the, the early combat was a little weak. You get the chain gun, wait, no, you get the shotgun here. And then you just fight three imps. You hit the switch and stuff opens way over there. So it's like, well, I mean, I've got all this space to work with and all it is is a cacodemon and five imps. That's, that's not a big deal. All right, let's go. We'll get a rocket launcher. Oh, where'd they come from? I was thinking about jumping down there, but that's where I started anyway, right? Oh! Imps over there. Revenants over here, imps over here. Yeah, a cool idea. Probably needs a little bit more uh, fierceness to it. Because I'm still going to target all of my attention over here. Just because there's one or two imps way over there. I'm not going to worry about that when we got revenants over here. Two down. I mean, if I get hit by a straight fireball with 129 health and 100 armor, so be it. 
That looks like a secret, but there are no... Yeah, there are no secrets. Um, so yeah, I don't actually... This map has a... It says jump and crouch are allowed. Of course, the one hit I take gets me for the full 24. Jump and crouch are allowed, but not demanded, which I think is always kind of weird. To me, if you're going to have jump and crouch, you ought to demand them. Otherwise, it's just kind of, you're kind of in a limbo. You're kind of in a situation where you don't really know if you're at a disadvantage by not using them or not. If they're required, then okay, you got to use jump and crouch. It is expected. But to say that jump and crouch are allowed but not expected or required, to me, that kind of means... I don't know. It just seems like, as the creator of a map, one ought to know whether it's... Okay, we're going down. Oh, there's Hellmats down. And there's a super shotgun. Oh, get out of the way. What the heck happened there? Must have been all around me. See, I actually expected this to be maybe damaging floor down here. But it's not. So this, uh, huh. What do we got in here? Anything? No. Hmm. So yeah, this is, I think this is an optional area, because, yeah, wait, wait, how do I get up? Over here? Over here. Yeah, it looks like we're supposed, oh, oh, that makes sense, okay. Yeah, it looks like what you're supposed to do is just go around, but the Lost Souls spooked me, if you will. So I jumped down. But I got the Super Shotgun out of it, so... Yeah, kind of an interesting optional area. Um, I also think that area would have been entirely trivial if I hadn't brought the Lost Souls down with me. Like, if it's just those six Hell Knights in that huge area, and that's just... I mean, that's ridiculously easy. I mean, I took a lot of damage out of boredom, basically. There's some rockets over there, that's good. Got my health back. So, oh. Well, let's, uh... Let's use some of these rockets, huh? Yeah. Huh. That probably could have gone a lot worse. I'll bet that, yeah. I'll bet I kind of only triggered one and then went backwards. Wait, where? I, yeah. Because they look like they're positioned to surround you. Like if you trigger, if you trigger all of them like right here, you're screwed. Yeah, I don't know. I'd maybe think about moving the trigger point, or maybe I just kind of got weirdly lucky. I'm not sure. I'm running out of ammo for this though. I know that. Oh! I didn't kill all these revenants. I guess not. Wow, that scared the crap out of me. Okay, well now I gotta go get more health. That's enough. Wait, what did this switch actually do? Oh! Should we jump down again? Okay, a couple more caffeine units.
This was the door, right? Yeah, this is back to the star area. So yeah, I do like how the map opens itself up. It has a nice sense of space, really. It's it's not great looking at all, but it's got a cool way of reusing the space and uh, making you feel like you're in a little bit of an adventure. So what's in here? Uh-oh. This looks like fun. Oh, there's some spiders. Well, I wonder if I can rocket the spiders. back here. That was stuck. Wait, there's still... I thought I killed all the spiders. Oh, they're on both sides. Yeah, the imps didn't really work here, because I think what they're trying to do is pressure me forward. Like, I can sit here and shoot my rockets down easily. But these these imps teleporting in one by one aren't really going to alter that. They're not really going to have an effect on that. They may not even be able to climb this. They probably can't. So, they really have no function out there. Now, if... If you replace the imps with revenants or something, or maybe even close this door and bring some revenants in here, like maybe make a tunnel here that revenants come out of, now you're forcing my hand. Now I've got to make a hard decision between do I try to kill revenants in a tiny space or do I make this plunge into nukage or whatever might be down there, right? But as it was, it seemed like it was trying to make me make a hard decision, but it wasn't a hard decision. It's simple. I can snipe these these arachnotrons, and I don't have to worry about these imps back here at all. But uh, I, what I do appreciate in the map is just kind of how the environment does play a factor, and that's something that you don't see in, you know, a really flat tech base that is often what people will throw out as a first mapping effort. This is not that at all, and, and I like how the environment plays a role. But now we got more Arachnotrons to kill. Okay, they're dead. And now, we gotta figure out... Well, every time there's been a big high up place, there's been something below, right? So I should see what's down below. Although it's nukage this time, so it might actually be damaging. Oh, okay. I right, gotta get this shot just right. That was not it. <laughs> that was not it either. Okay, so it looks like this was maybe not a good place to jump down. Okay. Well, let's get a save here going. So it looks like we just gotta make our way across here. However hard that is. Oh, we- ah, oh, crap. So yeah, there's a... Uh... So yeah, this is kind of interesting. You could probably just angle yourself properly. Oh, is that where they're coming from? Oh! I get it. That's interesting. You could probably angle yourself properly so that um, you just run right into whatever this is. But there's freaking torches there that block you. Also, why aren't these lines impassable? That's interesting. You would think that these lines would all be impassable, but they're not. So there's either a trap here later, or these are actually zero height sectors. Which would be really weird. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, let's try this again, huh? So yeah, this is just a little land staircase thing. Looks like you gotta take these one by one. And then 
and try not to... Yeah, you really get prevented from doing what you want to do. You really have to take them kind of crap one by one. <laughs> So yeah, I'm very clunky with free look because I don't actually use it. So I don't have a setup that makes a natural use of free look. The way I'm using free look is with the touchpad on my laptop. <laughs> Which is kind of odd. Okay. Let's go ahead and save here. Ugh. Yeah, I don't want to keep doing this from the beginning, so I'll just load there. Alright, here we go. Oh, plasma, wow. What are we getting ourselves into out here? That I need 260 cells. What's that I mean, yeah, a little bit of an initial shock in here, but honestly, I don't think you need a plasma gun here. I would entirely get rid of the plasma gun. Force the player to try to find angles to shoot rockets, otherwise deal with the super shotgun. You know, maybe there's a box of shells here, or a couple boxes of shells, but yeah. I wouldn't give up the plasma gun here, that just makes this too easy. Um, you've got a rocket launcher, so you've got a high-powered um, weapon. But this section, you've got, you've got a lot of monsters for as much space as there is. Even though a lot of them are weak monsters, that still is going to really mess with your ability to use the rocket launcher, which is, which is great. This would have been a lot more interesting without giving up a plasma gun right there. All right, what do we got here? Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Looks like that's it. Alright, vertigo. Well, I gotta say, that is not your normal first wad at all. Um, there's a lot of interesting stuff here. I like how, how a lot of thought was put into the environment. Um, not really the beauty, which is which is fine, which is preferable in my opinion, that newer mappers worry more about the geometry, the layout, than the actual beauty. Um, but yeah, the vertical height really played a, a big role in this map. It's something to remember it by, and, and if nothing else, that's a good thing. Um, you know, some of the most memorable maps in, in the original Doom are the ones that are somewhat gimmicky in their, either in a fight or in their appearance. I mean, everyone knows Sloth of Despair is a hand. A lot of people don't like that map, but everyone knows that's the hand. Um, everybody knows that... Oh, I don't know. Everybody knows about the Cyber Demon, Spider Demon fight in map, uh, what, 21 in, in Doom 2. Or 22, whatever, I can't remember what it is, or 20, I think it's 20 actually. So, so yeah, I mean, if you put this in a wad somewhere, it's going to be memorable, even if it's not well polished. It, it's memorable, it's it's interesting how it goes up and it comes down and it goes up and it goes down. And uh, a lot within kind of the same basic space. Now, does it need to be, does it need cleaning up visually? Sure, sure, but that'll come with time. This is the guy's first map, right? Um... Does the combat need a fine-tuning? Sure it does, but uh, a lot of it was fairly interesting, even if it was not difficult. Um, Demon Trap may be a little bit hit or miss. I think that could have been more dangerous depending on how you approach it and or maybe moving the trigger line just a little bit makes it a little bit more ferocious. Um, I think the teleporting imps behind I think something else needs to happen there. Something needs to force me to make a decision to kind of commit to that last dark nukage area. And it's not 
imp slowly teleporting behind you. Yeah, I mean, this is this is free look recommended, pretty much required map, right? So anyone's going to be able to snipe off the arachnotrons. There's enough rockets to do that. Even if there's not enough rockets, you can do it with chain gun. So something probably needs to happen there. And uh, yeah, a lot of the fights give you a little bit too much space and not enough high priority threat. I mean, there's not even a shotgunner in this map, right? There's former human regular. There's not a shotgunner, there's not a commando, there's there's no arch files, there's no pain elementals, there's there are a handful of lost souls. And they're about the highest threat monster that you see in this map, just because they're somewhat unpredictable. The revenants are too far away to be a high threat. Um, so it's very chill in that sense, but it also makes it so that you can kind of you can kind of really just slow down and, and make the combat really, really simplified. So I think some places the combat needs a little bit more oomph to it, a little bit more spice, a little bit more forcing of the player's hand into hard decisions. But that is Man Game 5's first map. And I gotta say, quite an interesting inaugural effort there. So looking forward to seeing more.